Welcome back everybody. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Brickmania's LCVP. For those of you who do not know who or what Brickmania is, it is a company that sells uh, Lego military models. And the uh, thing is they are not connected to Lego due to the fact that Lego does not sell military models or anything. So Brickmania is uh, basically kind of doing that for them just they're not connected so it's kind of crazy but I guess it is what it is so this is the model right here uh, it's the LCVP Higgins boat uh, if you don't know much about the Higgins boat I made a short video on the history of the Higgins boat so make sure you can check that out um, this is a pretty sturdy model overall um, it's a very nice weight nice size um it's definitely very long uh, let's see this is a regular sheet of paper length probably it's about a foot long um i did not buy this i actually bought this magazine um and as you see it has the instructions so that's how i did it i bought all the parts off of a place called breakout and then they had the instructions in there for the Higgins boat, short note about the Higgins boat. They have the uh, parts list right here as pictures. Some nice instructions, although at points they're kind of hard to understand, but uh, they were pretty good overall. Um, and then in the back, you have a parts list and it tells the quantity, quantity part number, uh, the Legos part number, a description, and what color. And as you can see, we have a lot of parts. A lot of parts. So right off the bat, you might be noticing the machine guns. Um, those are Brick Arms machine guns. Uh, those are M1919s, uh, 30 cal Browning machine gun. Uh, the CBs guys, oh boy. That's not supposed to happen. We'll just leave it. So there's the CBs in there, and so this is a very playable model. Um, guns can uh, aim in different directions slightly. Uh, you got your little armor plates there. Uh, you do have a winch right here that can come to there and then come up there. I'm lazy and I was like, eh, too much work. I have to rewind the winch every time I put my ramp down. But I guess if you want that extra touch of realism, uh, that's one nice thing about Brick Mania. They put a lot of nice stuff in there as far as realisticness. But uh, they do have this little window on the front. It's hard to open with one hand, but uh, it comes down to this point and then you can't get it any further so i guess if you're gonna make it look like the real thing just take that out and uh that's how you can make it look like uh the real thing does when they have the window down because it would actually fold in so it would just be like right there basically but uh i guess and uh, you can only do so much with legos so uh, but then when you put the ramp down you can either make your ramp have a hole in it or trip everybody as they try to get out since i did buy all these parts used i did not uh, get it the nice light gray color as you can see there it's uh just kind of a multi-color boat i have some brown i have some tan i have like that orangish color it's dark gray light gray black so there's just a mix of colors but really overall i really don't care what it looks like um the bottom is uh, a really nice design uh, on the real higgins boat there is that curvature right there and uh, i can't remember who designed this at brick mania but they did a great job designing it and they uh, just made that curvature go in there this is hollow right here. It's kind of hard to tell. If I put it up against light, you can see the light coming through there. But uh, if you look in here, you can see there's enough light. 
that it's just hollow in there. So you guys aren't actually standing on anything. They're just kind of sitting there hoping they can hold on to their gun and not fall in. But I guess if you don't mind about that, it makes the boat actually look real. Um, I think I was able to fit like 15, 16 guys in here. Um, I have instructions to build one of uh, Brickmania's Willys MB Jeeps, but uh, otherwise I only have two off-brand Jeeps and they do not fit in here. If I had to guess, the Brickmania ones will fit. And uh, so I think it's nine, it's seven blocks wide. So you can fit two guys. And then I think I was able to put, I don't have anything that looks like that. Just all US infantry. I have an array of airborne, marine, I have British, French, I have a little uh, nice rainbow mixture of infantry and all that kind of stuff. So I don't actually have a full load of Marines or infantry to put in there. So it doesn't look as great when I put everybody in there because there's Australian guys next to US guys. But I guess it is what it is. I did add the flag on there. Um, just took one of those one by one blocks with a clip and just put it on the back. I'm not sure why this part is on there. I don't think I put it there, but it doesn't matter. Um, so the magazine uh, came with instructions and it came with this little sticker sheet. So I had a German sticker, uh, 101st Airborne Division sticker, 82nd uh, Airborne Division sticker, I had a U.S. flag, a D-Day map, and then these three uh, U.S. Navy, I think it, I don't know, there's the word, I'm sorry, topic, maybe, life jackets, but uh, I have two CBs, that guy is just kind of a homemade guy that I made, he's supposed to be UDT, but he's good enough to act as a CBs, so, uh, yeah, I don't want to ruin my guys by putting those on them. Maybe I'll put those on somebody else, but I did have a little sticker right there that said Brick Mania, so it's like, yeah, why not? Put the Brick Mania logo on there. It's not the best. There we go. But yeah, so, yeah, overall, it's a very nice kit. I think from Brick Mania, it's 220 bucks. Uh, the magazine is $10. Uh, I think... I spent about $60 on parts, maybe. I'm not real sure. Uh, so the actual product does come with three minifigs. So uh, these guys I had to buy separately. So that adds up. But I think, um, I think they actually are no longer selling this model. Very nice model. If you get the chance to build it, uh, with these instructions or buy one uh, for a cheaper price I would uh, definitely do so thanks for watching please like and subscribe and until next time see you later and have fun playing Legos